Christopher Walken one yeah. terrified me. Me too. I'm no, he came to see me on a rooftop in New York. I said, hey, can I, can I talk to you? And he said, sure. And he, he floated in mm. sideways. And it was like one of those old vampire movies where they don't walk, but they glide. Mm. And he just sat down in a chair next to me. And it kind of frightened me. Mm. And he began to talk tortures. You see that? Because I'd read this book on torture. Mm -hmm. I tried to recall some of the most heinous things I'd ever read in this book, and, and he'd try and top it. <laughs> you fucked up. And my assistant was there, and he left because he, he couldn't stand it anymore. Yeah. The, the air had turned cold. Mm -hmm. If you were a soul, where would you hide? I wanted to leave. <laughs> and because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. He was getting scary. Yeah. Christopher Walken one yeah. terrified me. Me too. I'm no, he came to see me on a rooftop in New York. I said, hey, can I, can I talk to you? And he said, sure. And he, he floated in mm. sideways. And it was like one of those old vampire movies where they don't walk, but they glide. Mm. And he just sat down in a chair next to me. And it kind of frightened me. Mm. And he began to talk tortures. You see that? <laughs> because I'd read this book on torture. Mm -hmm. I tried to recall some of the most heinous things I'd ever read in this book, and, and he'd try and top it. <laughs> you fucked up. And my assistant was there, and he left because he, he couldn't stand it anymore. Yeah. The, the air had turned cold. Mm -hmm. If you were a soul, where would you hide? I wanted to leave, <laughs> and because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. He was getting scary. Christopher Walken one yeah. terrified me. Me too. I'm no, he came to see me on a rooftop in New York. I said, hey, can I, can I talk to you? And he said, sure. And he, he floated in mm. sideways. And it was like one of those old vampire movies where they don't walk, but they glide. Mm. And he just sat down in a chair next to me. And it kind of frightened me. Mm. And he began to talk tortures. You see that? <laughs> because I'd read this book on torture. Mm -hmm. I tried to recall some of the most heinous things I'd ever read in this book, and, and he'd try and top it. <laughs> you fucked up. And my assistant was there, and he left because he, he couldn't stand it anymore. Yeah. The, the air had turned cold. Mm -hmm. If you were a soul, where would you hide? I wanted to leave, <laughs> and because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. He was getting scary. Yeah. All right, uh, these are people that were in Epstein's book that were at Epstein Island, uh, confirmed by multiple sources, Bill Clinton, George Mitchell, Michael Bloomberg, <clears throat> excuse me, Andrew Cuomo, Barbara Walters, Alex Baldwin, R Ralph Fenice, George Hamilton, Dustin Hoffman, Kevin Spacey, Liz Hurley, Laura Hunton, Janice Dixon, Naomi Campbell, Christy Tur Turlington. Uh, Henry Kissinger, which may be one of the most evil men on the world. He is, yeah. Joan Rivers, Courtney Love, Mick Jagger, Courtney Guest, uh, Phil Collins, uh, Simon LeBon, Charlie Rose of PBS, Richard Branson, Candace Bushel, Tom Ford, uh, Vera Wang, Nadia Byerlin, uh, Co. Stark, and here's some more. Seth Green, James Gunn, mm. Dan Schneider, Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Stephen Colbert, mm -hmm. uh, Tom, uh, is it Tom Hanks, Jimmy Kimball, Barack Obama, Kevin Spacey, Kev uh, Kathy Griffin, Oprah Winfrey, Sean Carter, Beyonce Knowles, Anthony Kiedis, John Legend, Christy Teigen, Jim Carrey, Steven Tyler, Ben Affleck, Stephen Collins, Will Ferrell, uh, I don't know, how to, um, uh, Eminem, J Jeffrey Jones, Victor Salva, Mark Rector, Charlie Sheen, Tyler Grasham, Madonna, Catherine Hudson, Gwen Stefani, uh, Stefani Germolta, James Franco, Will Smith. Oh, has Will Smith been in the news lately? Justin Rowland, John Cusack, Anderson Cooper, Demi Moore, uh, Brian Affleck, Meryl Streep, Wanda Sykes, Sh Chelsea Handler, uh, Michelle Wolfe. Uh, Farrell Williams, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Robert Downey Jr., Courtney Love, and Alec Baldwin. Mm -hmm. They are petrified of that list and what those films getting out. They have mm -hmm. all the videos of all those people and more.
Really? Yep. It's gonna get ugly. All right, Shalom. Call Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahweh And basically, uh, tonight's topic will be entitled Judgment Coming for Holly Weird and Babylon. All right? That judgment coming for Holly Weird, a.k.a. Hollywood, and Babylon, all right? And you see the image and artist depiction of, of Yahweh Shai right there uh, striking that sword. Right now, as I speak, he's sharpening that sword, man. And he's getting ready to just strike it through and cut, cut this so-called great country America in half. By, by way of those nuclear missiles, by by way of that nuclear fire, all right? It's going to be quite a, a horrific judgment and and destruction that the wicked people of this society are, are going to are gonna face, man, all right? For, for, for living extremely wicked lives, all right? Now, I took inspiration, all right, but based on, Based on the opening clips I, uh, I showed you uh, prior to this segment, I took inspiration from, you know, from, from some of those videos I, I bumped into earlier in the week, all right? Um, the whole thing about one of, one of, uh, one of Hollywood's so-called top actors out there, uh, Christopher Walken. All right, and and then um, the the whole the whole recent development uh, developments, uh, the whole recent uh, 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 happenings be behind this whole uh, uh, this whole theme of Ep Epstein Island. All right, uh, uh, all you heard you heard a lot of the big name celebrities uh, mentioned uh, in that last video clip uh, I, I showed you and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat any of those names but you must have clearly heard them uh, some of those names you you thought you would never hear of before man and and there they were involved in that whole Epstein thing that that whole Epstein Island out there all right were for those of you that might already be in the know. You know what that whole deal was about, all right? A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of this wicked world's top elitists, top top celebrities, both black and white, have attended that damn island, all right? For for child sex trafficking and 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 and, and even and even blood sacrifices, man. All right. Because that's that's what these people do. All right, believe it or not, that, that that that's what many that's what many of your so-called entertainers, all right, your your so-called top stars in, in Hollywood or Holly Weird, all right, Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger himself was the first. Among the first to refer to Hollywood as Holly Weird, all right, when when he started witnessing and perhaps practicing some of those wicked behind the scenes freakery himself, man. All right, you understand what I'm saying? All right, so it, it's not called Holly Weird for nothing. All right, there's a lot of behind the scenes uh, shit that many of y'all still may not know about that goes on behind that so-called Hollywood, man. All right? 
Uh, for those of for those of you or some of us that may have once grown up uh, loving all these movies and shit, and or and, or, or, or wanting some one way or the other to be part of that whole uh, industry, which really happens to be a, a very wicked and diabolical industry. All right, it's like the older you get, the more you learn. About all this shit out there, man. Okay, it, it, uh, you know what I'm saying? Behind, behind all that so-called glitz and glamour, it's really a lot of, a lot of, how should I put it? It's really a lot of filth. It's really a lot of gloomy stuff, man. All right? Uh, the, 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 these so-called uh, Hollywood, the top Hollywood uh, actors, all right? Like that Christopher Walken, all right. I gotta bring his name up one more time, all right. And and I have a picture of him right here, all right. Okay. There you go. All right. For for some of you that may not be too familiar, who whom this now old scumbag is, all right. Uh, he he is still one of one of Hollywood's most prestigious and 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 and, and award-winning and honorable actors, man. All right, but you don't know you don't know whatever behind-the-scenes bullshit he has done to get that far, man. The the same with all the other top celebrities, man. All right, because this guy this guy you see in in, in in the picture right there, what what, what what's he doing? All right, that 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 particular picture for those of you that 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 are that are in the know, you should know what 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 that represents. All right, he's placing he's placing his arm his his hand right right around his chest. All right, you 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 you, you understand what I'm saying? That is really a free masonic gesture. That, that, that is Freemasonic. You see most of these other uh, top actors, whether they're black or white, do you see them? You see them. If, if, if you check out their pictures on, on YouTube, you might bump into a picture or, or, or several of them making that same pose, man. Okay? That they, that, that, that they pose like that for a reason. All right? Because because they're into Freemasonry, they're into the occult, all right, and they're into blood sacrifices, man. Plain and simple. That you cannot get that high in so-called Hollywood or Hollywood if you do not partake in any of these gross behind-the-scenes shit that they do, man. All right. So 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 this this devil right here. All right, that devil that you see right there uh, at, at, at the opening clip, all right, and, and I repeated that clip too so that so that you so that you would hear it more than one time. You 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 heard you saw and heard Mel Gibson, all right. Mel Gibson is a lot older now, so so that so that clip of him must have been from from the late nineties maybe, all right. But 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 he basically was giving testimony of, of his own little brief encounter with Christopher Walken, all right, and and, and that it made a, a very creepy impression of him, because of, according to the account given by by Mel Gibson, all right, uh, he gave the account that that these two met at at a, at a rooftop in New York City somewhere, all right. And that Christopher Walken allegedly, according to, to Mel Gibson's testimony, all right, Christopher Walken literally, literally uh, levitated, all right? He levitated above ground and flew, all right? And basically slided over sideways onto Mel Gibson, all right? Uh, before, sitting, before sitting right next to him, he basically glided. You understand what I'm saying? He glided onto Mel Gibson, man. All right? 
Now, now you would have to be a, a, a real top Satanist, all right? You would have to be a real top sat Satanist and really be into the occult if you if if you was to possess that 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 them kind of powers, man. If you were to possess that kind of ability, you 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 understand what I'm saying? All right. You, do you understand what I'm saying? That the, the Mel Gibson gave an account that this devil right here basically glided onto him, and 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 that it and that it nearly scared the shit out of Mel Gibson, man. Mel Gibson, who's known, who's been known for making all these tough guy movies, all right, Lethal Weapon, A Brave Heart, not to mention Mad Max. For those of you that remember Mad Max, growing up in the 80s and shit, all right, Mel Gibson was the man, all right? He, he, he's known for all these tough guy roles, yet according to him, he became terrified of wimpy-looking Christopher Walken, all right? Because wimpy-looking Christopher Walken, all right, wimpy-looking Christopher Walken levitated, according to Mel Gibson's testimony, levitated, all right, and, and glided over to Mel Gibson before sitting next to him, and, and, and then during their brief conversation, all right, uh, Christopher Walken, the, the first thing that came out of his mouth was something about torture on, on, on to Mel Gibson. All right? Why, why, why would he bring up a, a topic like torture, man? Well, why, why, did, why did he have to make such a topic? All right? And, and then Mel Gibson himself, uh, uh, get, you know, in, in, the, in, in, in the video, said something about he himself reading a book about torture. Now, what's really all that about? All right? What's really all that about? Because a, a lot of these so-called celebrities, all right, that, that you love and, and worship, all right, once again are into Satanism, you know, a Freemasonry, a, a child and child sacrifices, a sex orgies, all right, a sex orgies that that, that goes a lot in, 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 in so-called Hollywood, Holly weird, all this freaky shit, sex orgies, just like in the movie uh, Caligula, all right, look up that movie Caligula, it's an old 1979 movie uh, with this actor, uh, 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 what's his name? Malcolm McDowell, he played the part of Caligula, man. All right? I, I check that movie out, whether on your local streamer or on DVD, Blu-ray, all right? And it's almost like looking at, 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 at pornography, man. All right? That's exactly what they do behind the scenes in Hollywood, all right? A lot of sex orgies and shit. A ch child sex trafficking, all right? All that shit that you, you don't clearly know about, that that's what goes on, all right? Now, I got some, uh, now I got a few other pictures. That, that, that Let's get rid of this devil now. Let's show you a few other pictures of other top celebrities, all right, that are into the, the occult, uh, Freemasonry, and the Illuminati, all right, who's that right there? All right, all right. Uh, he he he's one of your your all time favorite rappers, right? Eminem. All right, and what's he doing? He's clearly showing you right there that that he's with the devil, man. He's clearly showing you right there that, that he's down. He's down with this uh, 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 occultism in Hollywood, man. You see him point the 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 the. the Making the 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 devil hand sign, all right. All 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 them other rappers, whether they black or white, all all these other top celebrities, all right. I I can't name all of them. All of them, all of them, they they be posing like that, man. All right. 
all of them be put and, and they and, and then and then in this picture he's showing you the one eye symbol. What's that really all about? All right. He's showing you the one eye. He, he's covering one eye and showing you the other. You understand what I'm saying? One eye symbolism. All right? That they do this a lot in, in, in so-called Hollywood. All right? All, all, all these other top artists are into that, man. All right? You cannot make it that big in, 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 in the industry. All right? Um, unless, unless you sell your soul. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Selling your damn soul, man. All right? So I just showed you this guy here. All right? I got, uh, hold on. I got a few more. All right? The, the, this so-called black woman right here. All right? Uh, she made it big in some movie a couple of years ago. All right? Um, I'm not... You know, I've, I've, I've never quite followed her career, but I, I heard her name kept coming back and forth a few years ago, and she goes by the name of Monique, all right? Now, now take a good look at that picture. Uh, just like the Christopher Walken picture that I showed you a little while ago, what, what is she doing? She's making the exact same pose, right? She's placing... She's placing her, her hand, all right, and her arm on, on, the, on the chest, <laughs> all right? Once again, that, that's a Freemasonic gesture, all right? All, all, all these people that, that make it big, I, I think she won an Oscar and shit. All these people that make it big like that, they're into the occult, all right? that they acknowledge unto their followers that they're down with the occult, they're down with the Illuminati, period. All right? I got. I think I got one more picture, if I could find it. Um, <coughs> Salakia. All right? Okay, but, but you know, uh, all... All, all these, um, how should I put it? <clears throat> all these so-called celebrities, uh, look up JC on the internet uh, and type uh, <clears throat> Salakia. Look up what I'm Salakia. You look up JC on Google and type pyramid hands, and you're going to see it, <coughs> all right? All right, so it's so a lot. All right, so I thought I'd show you the pictures myself to get it over with. There goes your boy, at, at JC, all right? And, and, and what's he doing right there? Showing you that he's down with the occult. That, that, that he's down. He's down with the so-called white man. All right? And, 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 and his Satanism. He's down with his Illuminati. All right? He's clearly showing you the, the pyramid sign right there. As well as the one eye symbol. All right? He's, he's throwing it right in your effing face. All right? Right in your effing face, this nigga here is showing you. All right? That, 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 that with all, all, all these top Hollywood stars, they show you that they down with Illuminati, man. All right? They, they, down, with, with, they down with whatever the so-called white man tells them to do. Uh, whether it's ch child sex trafficking or, or, or you know, or, Blood sacrifices, they do it, man. All right? The, the drink blood, all right? The drink blood, the, 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 the drink, drink urine, getting sprayed by urine or, 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 or eat doodle -doo or, 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 or take doodle -doo up in your face, 
All right, I'm not making this up. Look it up for yourselves, man. That 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 that's only part of the filth that goes on behind the you know the, the so-called glitz and glamour of so-called Hollywood or Hollyweird. All right, okay. All this shit goes on behind the scenes, man. Once again, there goes your boy, JC. All right? Let me close this picture down. All right? Let me show you this other one. A JC. All right? That's right. Your, your man, JC, your homie. All right? Who, 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 who's one of, uh, who, who's one of the richest, uh, uh, one of the richest rappers out there right now. One of the richest niggas. How you think he achieved all, all that so-called fame and fortune, man? All right? The, there he goes with, 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 with a bunch of shit locks uh, on, on, on his nappy head. All right? And and there he goes. Uh, 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 with the, the picture I showed, the, 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 the first couple of pictures I showed you earlier. Of, of Christopher Walken and all that. There, there goes the exact same pose right there. All right? Showing you that, that he's down with Freemasonry. He's down. All, all these top Hollywood uh, actors, performers, rappers, athletes, politicians, they are all down with this crap, man. Every last one of them. Even Mel Gibson himself. All right? Even Mel Gibson himself, I, I have seen pictures of all of them posing like that. All right? Let's show you another one. All right? Okay? Let's show you another one. All right? You may have seen these pictures before already, but I'm showing you, I'm showing you again. There goes your homie, a, a JC again. And and who's sitting right next to him? Who's doing who who who's make who, who's doing the same shit? All right, none other than your man. All right, one of Hollywood's most prestigious so-called African American actors, Denzel, Denzel Washington, folks. All right, Denzel, my man, Denzel. That's right, Denzel Washington. All right, my homie Denzel Washington, man. He's showing you right there that he too is down with Illuminati. He's down with the occult. All right, once again, all, all these so called celebrities and stars, that's how they make it that big. All right, they got to be down with this Illuminati Freemason shit. All right, all right, now. Uh, here, here, here goes another picture right here, all right? Once again, um, well, the, 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 this is Kanye West, or, or Ye, whatever. The, 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 this, is, uh, this picture was taken years ago already, all right? Kanye West, and, and next to him, uh, one of Hollywood's most honorable, prestigious white boys, Tom Cruise, all right? Tom Cruise, all right? Tom Cruise, uh, along with Kanye, all right? Black, So-called black and white actors showing you that they're down with, with, with this uh, uh, occult, occult symbolism in the entertainment industry, all right? And in order to make it that big, you you got to sell out like that, man. Play them simple. All right, plain and simple. All right, and and briefly getting back to the whole J Jeffrey Epstein thing, that that whole thing with the island, because earlier in the week I, I saw a, 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 an hour video by by one of these brothers, um, a GMS upon precepts, I think that that's the brothers' channel. And, and I drew some inspiration off of that, you know, where he showed you the, the exact, the, he showed you the same clip, 
of all the names of all these uh, top top uh, so-called entertainers and politicians that that attend that attend that damn island. Oh, you, you understand what I'm saying? So, so what more is there to say? All right, what more is there to say? If you if you wish to hear more and are intrigued, do your own research, man. Because right now, what I'm getting ready to do, Lord's will, is is get down to the scriptures. All right, let's get down with the scriptures. All right. Okay, well, once again, the, 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 topic, the topic of this show is judgment coming for Hollyweird and Babylon. All right, now let's begin with Luke 8.17, all right? Okay, and, and I got a few, more, a few more after that. Luke 8.17. Luke 8 and 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right? So, so right now we are living in the time, all right, like, like any other brother beginning with, with the top elders of, of Great Millstone would tell you, this is the time of, of revelation. Of, of these wicked people, all right? E even the apostle Paul wrote it, uh, I, I believe, in, in, uh, in, 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 in Thessalonians, all right? And that time shall the wicked be revealed, all right? Right now, the, the, the wicked is being revealed, all right? Your, your, your friendly neighborhood white man is being revealed, all right? Uh, he's being revealed. By 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 all all the all, all the dirty shit behind his uh, entertainment industry, uh, p political p p political world, all right, all all the behind the scenes filth, okay, and and speaking of the occult and all that, check out the movie Eyes Wide Shut, with with once again with. With Tom Cruise, and it was the very last movie uh, made by by Stanley Kubrick. Now, in that movie, Eyes Wide Shut, uh, uh, th th this filmmaker Kubrick, he tried exposing, you know, the the behind the scenes uh, occult uh, rituals that 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 these people perform. Behind closed doors, the the freakism, all right, the orgies, uh, but people people wearing uh, these these uh, people wearing these diabolical masks and all that, <clears throat> all right. So so Kubrick Kubrick ex exposed some of that in his, in his movie, all right, and he basically so called died. All right, uh, I say so-called died. He 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 may have been he may have been taken out. All right, and and, and this was back in 1999 that that the, uh, this last movie of his came out, Eyes Wide Shut. All right, so 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 look that movie uh, on your streaming service or or DVD somewhere, man. All right.
But, but once again, we are living in the time now when the Most High is exposing, is exposing your, 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 your top so-called rich and famous people. He's exposing them. All right? And right now, this whole thing with the, the this whole thing with, 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 with that island out there that they call it Epstein Island, all right? And that they're getting ready to to expose a lot more top names, all right, of so-called celebrities and politicians and even so-called royalty that have attended that damn island, man, all right? And they're getting ready to allegedly expose that uh, come January the 1st, all right? And, and don't be surprised if, if any kind of, any kind of, uh, how should I put it, so-called a disaster, uh, a catastrophic event or, or whatever, a anything to cause a, a disruption may occur, you know, to keep the people distracted, man. Don't be surprised. If, 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 if that whole revealing thing may not come about, because what, you, you heard some of the names in, in, in that video, but I'm not going to repeat them. You, you must have heard them already. Very top of the line, very influential and powerful names, man. Not, not, not just anybody, but, but very influential, powerful people, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's why it says here, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right? Now, some of you might ask or wonder, all right? Since I started the clip with, with this weirdo, Christopher Walken, has he himself been on that island? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. The, the, maybe. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if if he himself has been on that island. All right. But but even if but, but even if he's not been, all right, that does not that does not mean that that he does not have his own skeletons in the damn closet, man. You best better believe that. All right, now, let's go to Isaiah now, the 28th chapter, all right, Isaiah 28, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm going to read verses 14 through 18, all right? All right, it says here, Judah is warm. Okay, so so who's Judah? Judah, Judah is, is, is you so-called Negroes out there, all right? You're supposed to be the, the number one tribe. Of, of, of the lost 12 tribes of Israel, the real Jews, the real Israelis, so you can understand, are, are you so-called people of color, you, you Israelites, not Israeli, Israelites, all right, so therefore, the, the most high power, these wicked, these wicked men of our people who have joined so-called Hollywood or Holly Weird, all right, who, who have managed to, to be, you know, reach that, that so-called Hollywood status, okay? So, so, so let's start reading on, man. It says this, Wherefore hear the word of the, of the Most High, ye scornful men. All right, all right, now for edification's sake, Let's look up that word scornful real quick, all right? Ye scornful men, all right? Let's look up that word scornful real quick, all right? 
and that, 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 let's also check the, the, the Hebrew pronunciation of it. Strong's H3944. Latson. 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 All right. Now. All right. Hold on. All right. It says here mocking. Frivolous contempt of what is good and upright. All right? That's basically what, what, it, what it's saying. Scorning, bragging, all right? Derision, all right? That's basically, that's basically its meaning, all right? And a, a lot of, a, a, a lot of these so-called Negroes, all right, the, the, the wicked ones, you best believe they're exactly just that, all right? That's why the Lord is saying here, all right, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men that rule this people, which is in Jerusalem, all right? I'm going to keep reading my down. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement. All right, so so what's that really talking about? That that's talking about these these A-list black uh, black uh, celebrities like J.C. Denzel, all right, uh, Kevin Hart, all right, Eddie Murphy, Wesley Snipes, okay, uh, but Bill Cosby. The, the late Richard Pryor, all right? All of them have, uh, oh, let, let's not forget Jamie Foxx now. Jamie Foxx, all right? Let, let's not forget him, all right? All, all these top entertainers, including the, the so, all right? But the, the, this is uh, the, the so-called Latino ones, all right? The, this scripture is concerning more you people. All right, because you, you turn aside your, your true power, which is the most high in favor of the so-called white man and the things he has to offer in this counterfeit kingdom of his. You think that, 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 that the so-called glitz and glamour of, of Hollywood is like the kingdom of heaven, man, and it's not. All right? Many of, of, of these black entertainers and, and Latinos that do make it uh, that big out there, no matter what they do, they find out, all right, they find out the hard way that, you know what I'm saying? Some of them have, have, have already complained of, of not even getting paid right, all right? That, you, you understand what I'm saying? That there's been some some complaints out there already, that not all of them have have, have gotten fully paid yet. Okay, so so the so the white man has just been exploiting them at will. All right, yet met, met many of these people still don't care. They still don't care. You understand what I'm saying? And they have made a covenant with death. All right. They have made a covenant with death. Well, why do you think many of these so-called rappers have, have ended up dying the way they have, getting shot and all that? Not just Tupac, not just Biggie Smalls. A whole, a whole bunch of them in the past few years have gotten shot and killed. Why is that? All right? Because they made a covenant with death. All right? Instead of choosing eternal life, which the Most High promises to those that remain loyal to him, they rather get down with Esau and his so-called Hollywood entertainment industry. That's your covenant of death right there. All right? And with hell, are we at agreement with hell? 
All right? A hell, when we, uh, the, 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 the hell that you catch, and also a metaphor for the Illuminati. Okay? Okay? So, so at, at hell are, are, are most of these people at agreement with. Okay? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through and shall not come unto us for what we have made lies of our refuge and of the falsehood of the falsehood have we hid ourselves okay so there you go of, of the falsehood has many of these so-called black entertainers that have hid themselves but right now in these last days they are being revealed right next to the so-called white man they are being revealed, that they are being exposed, okay? You've heard already some stories about Will Smith, okay? You've heard some stories already about, about Sean, uh, P. Diddy Combs, so-called Puff Daddy, all right? You've heard these stories, man. You, you keep hearing, heard, heard, you heard, okay? That that whole... That whole mess with uh with Jonathan Majors, okay, your, your boy Jonathan Majors who 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 was on his way big into so-called Hollywood, man, even making movies with Marvel and shit. Not all of that got flushed down the toilet for him. You understand what I'm saying? Not everything went right down the toilet, right, right down the shit bowl. All right? Why you think it went that low for him, man? Okay? Why you think it went that low for him? Because he probably didn't want to sell out and, and play ball with, with, with these Satanists and, 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 and uh, you know, these Satanists that, that are into all these freakism. You understand what I'm saying? He probably didn't want to play ball like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and having to lay down with another man and shit. He probably said, no, I ain't down with that. You know what I'm saying? So so they set him up. He got set up. All right. He he got my lane. He got, uh, he got uh, you know, he got all kind of garbage in, in the white man's media. All right. And, and, and now he's basically out of here, man. All right. Uh, no, no, no major industry wants nothing to do with him right now. All right, Marvel just dumped the hell out of him. All right, so it ain't no more Kang the Conqueror for him either, man. All right, so, so, so that's basically what this scripture is talking about. Okay, and it goes on to say, verse sixteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Paul. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation. So, Salakia, I lay in Zion for a found, for a foundation, a, a stone, a tried stone, a precious corner, stone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. All right. Verse seventeen. Verse seventeen says. Judgment also will I lay. You hear that? And what's the topic of, 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 of this show tonight? Judgment coming for Hollywood and Babylon. So right here on verse 17 says, Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies. Okay, the refuge of lies that 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 these top celebrity niggers live under. All right, and all them other scumbag out there. The refuge of lies and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. All right, verse eighteen, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, 
then shall ye be trodden down by it. So what's that talking about? That's talking about judgment, man. That's talking about destruction, hellfire, for all your favorite top entertainers, man, for all these so-called top Hollywood celebrities. A lot of them are going to die in these last days, man. Okay? The Most High is getting ready to get rid of them, all right, like doo-doo, flush them down the toilet, man. All right? That's what it's talking about. All right? All right. I got a few more scriptures. Let's go to Timothy. Let's go to Timothy now, all right? Timothy, I'm going to look look that up real quick in the New Testament, right? 1st Timothy, all right? All right, 1 Timothy 6 and 9. And what does that say? But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Okay, so what's that talking about? All right. That's talking about all 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 these so-called rich and famous people out there. All right? I mentioned Mel Gibson earlier, him himself now. All right? But that that that's but that's talking about all all these so-called rich and famous people. Whether they whether they be so-called black or so-called white or so-called Latino all right, all these so-called, uh, uh, all these, all these motherfuckers. All right, let's just call, let, let, let's just call it like that. All these motherfuckers that you hear about out there, they fall into what temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. <clears throat> okay, what are those hurtful lusts? Okay, well, the the son of so son of the son of the shit I mentioned earlier, that that's being talked about on, on the news media. All right, the 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 blood sacrifices. All right, the child the 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 child sex trafficking. Okay, the 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 behind the scenes rituals and orgies and freakism. All right, and, and that that that. That Babylonian Calig Calig Caligula lifestyle, all right? That's what that's talking about, okay? And and then to many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition, all right? Okay, I'm going to read that again. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. All right, so there you go. All, all, all these top entertainers, okay, no, no matter how, how glamorous their life might be right now, all right, all these hoes in Hollywood and shit that, that make it so-called big, Okay, that their future is destruction and perdition. Plain and simple, man. It's not me saying it. It's the Most High saying it. By, by one of his prophets, a, a, a Timothy, in, in, in the scriptures. All right? Plain and simple. Okay? So I'm, so I'm going to read verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil which some coveted after. They have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, so that's what's coming for these people later on, man. All right? Uh, so first the sorrows, then, then, the, then the, the death and the destruction, man. All right? Plain and simple. All right? Now let's go to Proverbs 
and them I'll end it with Amos. All right. Book of Proverbs. All right. Lord willing, let's let's pull that scripture up. Proverbs 15. All right. Proverbs 15 at Chalasalak. Proverbs 15 and Salak. All right, Proverbs 15 and 3, all right? It says this, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Okay, so so a, a lot of these people that do all this behind-the-scenes crap, and they try to keep it secret from the ongoing public, all right? And, and they've been doing this this kind of stuff for years and years. Only now is that it, it's starting to be exposed. All right? But 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 little do they fail to realize that the Most High and the angels have been beholding all, all this shit all along. All right? They've been seeing, they've been seeing all the freakism, all the orgies, all the drug taking and all the rituals and shit that that take place behind behind closed doors in so-called Hollywood, man. All right, the Lord has seen that already. He has seen that with his big red eyes. He sees everything, man. Okay, you best better believe that. All right, beholding the evil and the good. All right. Plain and simple, man. All right? Nobody can see through your life better than, than the most high, man. Because he's the one that made us all. He can read your thoughts, good or bad, you know. He's, he tells right away. He knows your character and everything. All right? Plain and simple. Now, I just said that the, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, all right? Beholding the evil and the good. Now, I'm going to end it with Amos, which could serve as a precept to what I just read, all right? Amos 9 and 8, all right? Amos 9 and 8, okay, uh, Salaki. Hold on. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. And the sinful kingdom is, is what? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. All right? That, that's that, that sinful kingdom that we all live in right now. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of, of the of, of, of the Lord I, I read previously in Proverbs, all right? They behold all the wicked shit going on behind so-called Hollywood and the rest of, of Babylon, the, uh, America, <coughs> all right? So the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So 
the Lord, the Lord is saying right there that he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. All right? He might destroy two-thirds of our people upon his, upon his return. All right? But them same two-thirds, you best believe, will be reincarnated. All right? <clears throat> and brought back to life as righteous people in the kingdom to come. Plain and simple, man. All right? <clears throat> 